grade four math practice test with TN ready. Question number 14. Which number line shows a point that represents a fraction equivalent of six out of 10? I have a feeling we'll be dealing with a bit of conversion here, but who knows? So the first thing that I need to do is take a look at the scales on each one of the number lines, just so I have a feel for what fraction I'm gonna end up working with in that form. So from zero to here, I'm just going to count. And by the way, some people, when they count, start at zero. They say one, two, three. That's not how you count. It's how many times you move. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is in groups of one sixth. For this one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is an eighth. And I might need that. Who knows? And this one is in one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. How could I get lost in that other one? Who knows? I'm in one fifth, and the other one is one, two, three. So my fraction for this one is going to be one third. Now, I'm gonna find specifically what the numerator is for each of these, just by, again, I'm gonna count until I can get to the dot. It's not advanced rocketry. One, two, three, so this is three sixths. One, two, three, four, five, six, six eighths. One, two, three, that would be three fifths. And one, two thirds. So those are what my frac those are the fractions being represented. But none of those match six tenths, so what do I do? Well, the best bet is to do some simplifying, right? So I have to think what number can go in, if any can go into the numerator and the denominator. Well, I know that the multiples list for two includes both six and 10 because one times two is two, two times two is four, three times two is six, four times two is eight, and five times two is 10. This will actually help me in a second if I use it properly. So if I'm going to reduce six tenths, I'm gonna say, okay, how many times does two go into six? Well, here's six, it goes in three times. And then 10 goes, two goes in five times. So three fifths is the equivalent fraction. And you may notice that now I have a match here and here. So there you go. Also, if I wanted to reduce these, I totally could. Um, this list of two won't help me here, but three works because one three is three, two threes is six. So this is like a three multiples list, essentially. And this is a two multiples list. Um, so three goes into three one time. Three goes into six two times. So this would reduce down to that. That's the simplest form. Six eighths falls on this scale. So two goes into six three times. And two goes into eight four times. So that's three fourths. And two thirds is reduced as far as it can go. But having this reduction here and having it match up perfectly here made things easy. So anytime you have a number line fraction equivalent style question, go ahead and figure out what fraction you're using first. What are the parts? So in this case, it was sixths, and this one was eighths. Once you get all those, find out what the matching numerator is, and then start to look at your numbers. That way you have a feel for what you're working with, and it's not just kind of guesstimating. Um, the nice thing is six tenths is pretty close to five tenths if you visualize it. So it looks a little bit a little bit more than half. This one's quite a bit more than half, but these are somewhere in the general vicinity of looking like around about half. This is exactly half, for instance. So it might help me eliminate this one, but maybe none of the others. So find your fractions, then identify the appropriate numerator, and then make any sort of simplification so you find your match.